Over the six days, Derry had been totally neglected. The unemployment in Derry at that stage was 21%. Um, it was the worst in the British Isles. The housing situation here was appalling. And I just couldn't believe the situation that people were in. You know where you had five children in one room, cooking, eating, sleeping with a toilet in the backyard. Basically young people unemployed, young people applying for jobs who wouldn't even get a reply. And uh, I, I just, you know, there, there were wonderful people. And it was before Divis Flats were, were, were built. It was the old Pound Loney and Lower Falls, all those wee small streets. There were wonderful, wonderful people, but they were living in, uh, it was just poverty is the only word to describe it. John, with Father Mulvey and many others, had set up the Dairy Housing Association, which in 1967 had housed 100 families and had built 27 houses. Dairy Corporation had built no houses. So um, Dairy Housing Association had put in a request for planning permission for 700 houses. And the area that they were going to build the houses would have interfered with the gerrymander of the city. So it was turned down. And politics rather than justice had prevailed. John fought his first election in 1969. He, um, said as one in his election manifesto that he would like to start a social democratic party and so when he was elected uh, he and five others austin curry paddy o'hanlon Aidan cooper jerry fitt and paddy devlin came together and they part of the sdlp people were coming into politics most people for the first time never was there in the nationalist community uh, an opportunity. The old nationalist party was run as a hegemony. We had to ensure that each person was a member. But the same say as I or anybody else. I, I had to run in the uh, council election of 1973. We had no branch. We had no literature. We had no people. We had no notion about what we had to do. I have been elected with John Dallet, and I suppose the most uh, important uh, experience that we had on the council was during our first year. There were only two of us out of a council of 22 and neither of us were elected to uh, any of the council committees. Uh, and I suppose that was almost a, a unionist reaction to having the two of us, two SDLP members. We both decided that since councillors were entitled to attend any and all committees of the council, that we would divide the committees up between us and that we would attend anyway. We wanted to prove that we were as committed and as interested and as concerned uh, about the issues that the council had to address as any other council. And I think we proved our point because the second year we were formally elected to a number of the council committees. It was the remnants of the old Stormont Unionist supremacy rule. You were to be seen, maybe, but not heard. So we challenged them on everything. It was 
and a great experience in breaking down power. They were trying to protect something which was gone. And we were trying to create something new.